an unstable nucleus go through decay to become a final stable nucleus. The initial and final nucleus are isotopes of each other. Oh, this is a very important clue. Isotopes means they have the same proton number. Hmm. How many alpha and beta particles could have been emitted during the decay sequence? So I'm going to assume the unstable nucleus is X. And it becomes, I don't know, X, Y, Z, I guess. So X is here. So maybe I will choose some random numbers and say X has 110. Lah. How about that? So if you think of this, uh, somehow the final product must have the same proton number. That's not possible with alpha particles. You know why? Let me show you why. If let's say I decay from X to Y and I emit an alpha particle, that means my daughter nucleus Y will have 96 and 8. You notice how the proton number is already lower? So how can I get back to 10? There is only one way where your proton number will increase. That is through a beta decay. So maybe I do this. Let's go to Z. What if I try a beta decay? Le? Beta decay means, uh, well, beta is, uh, let me write this out, 4, 2. Beta plus or beta minus, uh, you want the thing to increase by 1. That means one can increase to 9 and 96. So the only way you can do that is through a beta minus decay. So beta minus will be 0. Minus 1. Okay, so 9 plus minus 1 is 8. But we're still not back to 10 yet. So we need to do another beta decay. Uh, there's no more alphabet, guys. What should I use? I think I'll use A. Oh, sure. Okay, let's go back to A since Z becomes A. Or, oh, oh, oh I know. It becomes X, actually. Because if I do another beta decay... Okay, 0, negative 1. Then my proton number will increase back to 10. Although my nuclear number stays at 96. Ho, ho, ho. So now we are back to 10. We are the same element, which is why I said X. Because same proton number means same element. But they are isotopes though. Because this is 100 and this is 96. So yeah, this is how we can have, think of a sequence. Usually for every alpha, you need two beta minus to get back to the same element. And it's possible. Hmm? So we need one alpha, two betas. That's the answer. If you only have alpha, your proton number will just keep getting smaller and smaller. But if you have beta minus, then your proton number will get bigger and bigger. Ah, you think lah, you slowly think. Okay, so this is how you can think of a process, a decay process. There are a few questions that are tricky like this, but make sure you know how to deal with them. Okay, that's all for this question. I will see you in the next and final one, question 40.